example of G is actually harder than A flat. If I start on an arpeggio from C sharp, uh, <laughs> Tenor, the tenor range becomes very easy after G, natural. And then you can go even higher. basically the tenor octave. Um, let's see. Uh, that would be... that's almost two octaves. Um, counting the G and the low C oh, would be two octaves. So two octaves tenor range. Um, from C below middle C to C above middle C, high C. Okay, now I will demonstrate a uh, Let's see, this passage is from Fanchula del West. Uh, just to demonstrate how easy the high B flat is. <laughs> more difficult than the B flat itself. Um, most notably around the passaggio area, G and F sharp. Uh, see, uh, the A and B flat. <laughs> But the G is actually more difficult than the A or B flat, and the A flat. The A flat is um, a little tricky. And to prove that this is not a falsetto, I will attempt to uh, sing down on a scale. Uh, let's start from A. shaky, but um, I hope you can hear that the, the timbre of the tone doesn't really change that much, so you can, it proves that it's not a falsetto. This 
sous fond sol. C'est juste de... It's not much different, is it? Well, not 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 in the in sensation that you feel, but there's an obvious difference. Versus a hear it? It's not falsetto. It's not falsetto. And if you say it is, you're an idiot.